Namaskar, Maya. Namaskar. So a few months ago, I had this experience where suddenly there was this feeling that the word love itself had lost its potency. That deep, real understanding of what that even means was just lost. I remember a friend crying about a breakup and it seemed like the person was not able to look beyond the love that she knew. So it felt like the word love that I grew up with is not really full in that sense. So if you could just throw some light on that. Well, the word love that most people grow up with is the love of attachment. It is the love of taking. Someone of your age, you, you fall in love. What does that mean? It means you tune into somebody else in a way where you want to take from them. Because if it's about giving, then you won't be attached. Because you flow then, you give and what is taken is taken and what is not taken is not taken. So this idea of love is a love of attachment. Most of the time, that's what's happening. So you fall in love with a boy and you want him to give you what you want. And when he stops to give you what you want, then you're devastated. When people are devastated in love, that's when they start to ask these questions. What is love? What have I experienced? Why have I lost what I lost? And so on. The golden key to moving into a state of true love, which is not a state of attachment, not a state of taking, but a state of giving. If a person, let's say, has just broken up, a couple has just broken up, that's when the devastation is at its highest. If in that state, you can bring yourself for even one second, even a minute, to quiet yourself down and to tune in to your source, to your soul, to the love within yourself that is the master of your being, that source, the soul, the antaratman actually is called in Sanskrit, the expression of love within yourself. If for one moment, in that state of devastation, if you can take a break from it for a moment and just tune in to your soul, start to feel it. What is that within me? What is that thing? There is something which is the master of my being. And if I tune in to that, I will experience love which is not of attachment, but a love which is giving and compassionate. So even to relieve yourself of that pain in that moment of devastation, it is important at least once to tune into your source, to your master and stay in that for a moment. Because suddenly what happens, everything is quiet and there is an experience of love which is independent of another human being. And the very interesting thing is that when you tune in to that love within your master, your guru, your, your antar guru, the soul, the source. You experience 
the ability to give love outward but then it's not only focused on that one person anymore it might come back you know it's a moment of this experience and then again you might fall into a devastated state but the important thing is that for that one moment you have experienced love which is larger than that little story going on between you and that person and when you experience that love which is larger what happens is that that other person on whom you're so focused will also respond to that general love which you're sending out and very often it also happens that suddenly they're back in the picture because anybody who is tuned in to their own source and with their love exude love and nobody can deny that not even the person who has left you or doesn't want to be with you that person also cannot deny it so the more you tune in and the more you are in this love you will have more and more people around you who love you it's one to one a logical conclusion of tuning in to the source within and experiencing that love when you were born when you left your mother's belly the antaratman the soul took charge of your being and loves you unconditionally from that moment when you tune in to unconditional love what happens to you you start loving unconditionally that's what happens when you start loving unconditionally what happens next you receive love from everyone around you including that person who has actually pushed you away they cannot but help you know to love you it's a very a very powerful way of gathering yourself and tuning out of that suffering even if it's just for a moment you know that's that larger love which pulls everyone into its embrace so it's a meditation worth doing especially when a person is in a state of devastation emotional devastation it's worth it to do this short meditation of tuning in to the source and also what happens when two partners both practice this then tuning in to the love within becomes what holds them together rather than demanding something from the other if two people are there in a partnership and they are both tuning in to their own truth they will obviously love each other more when they tune in to the other one and they want something from the other one then obviously what will happen is that they will be rejected at one point because nothing wants to release something so if a couple really wants to stay together then each one has to tune into their own center of love within themselves only then will they be able to unconditionally love the other and that love then grows between the two the more you try to take from somebody the more they will reject you the more you go into a state of giving the more they will embrace you 